Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I got an announcement of a new project I'm going to do and a little bit of an update on things that I'm doing on the channel, where we are, so that you know you want to watch, when you want to watch it, whatever. So, so let's get into it. Um, actually, the first thing I want to say is I want to put out a reminder to everybody that there is an ongoing contest on my channel that when I get to a thousand subscribers, there will be a giveaway. And the details of those were in a previous video that I did maybe a couple months back, but I will put that video in the end card at this at the end of this one in case you have not seen that video and don't know the rules and uh, want to find out what it is you need to do to qualify to win one of the prizes, which I also mentioned in the video. But let's get on to talking about what's going on with the channel and with my new project. The new project, and you can see I've got Washington uh, baseball gear on. And the reason for that is that I am going to start a new Stratomatic PC baseball season, and it is going to be the 1955 Washington Senators. If you remember at the end of the last random PC game I did, that was the 55 Senators against, um, I believe it was the 85 Orioles, and they lost. And I said at the end of the video, I, I said something to the effect of this would be a cool team to do a season with. They were horrible. Don't get me wrong. Terrible team. But a lot of great guys on that team that um, were players that, you know, I would love to take them through a season. So, yeah, they, uh, the 55 Senators lost over 100 games. So um, it'll it's going to be a rough season. There's no doubt. And this is considering that I'm a White Sox fan, and the White Sox in 1955 won like 91 games. So, no, I'm not taking the White Sox because, you know, what's the challenge in taking a 91-win team through a season? I mean, they didn't win the American League. I think the Yankees did. The Yankees had a few more wins than that. They had like 97, 98 wins. So, they didn't win the American League, and I guess there would be maybe some point to trying to replay the 55 season, taking the White Sox and see if you can unseat the Yankees. But no, I want to take the 55 Senators, who were a terrible team in that league, and see how many wins I can get out of them. Now, I'm not going to sit here and profess that I'm the greatest manager since time began. So, you know, it, it may be, I may even do worse with the Senators. Who knows? Um, I will be following the same 1955 rules. It's going to be the same schedule. Um, I will, I'll make my own lineups. I'm going to make my own lineups and pitch my own players, my own uh, pitching preferences, um, and, and make all of the managerial moves that I feel I want to make. I'm not going to, like, you know, try to historically go back and figure out who pitched and when did that guy come out of the game and when did this guy come in? I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just, I'm going to manage the team the way I want, but it will be the actual 1955 schedule. And it, um, and it, and it'll be the actual rules. There's going to be, uh, you know, pitcher bat because that was before the DH even existed. So the pitchers will bat. Um, it's going to be the generic pitcher batting cards though, because, uh, I don't have, for a lot of these players I, or teams, I don't have the actual um, pitcher batting cards for 1955. In fact, Stratomatic only really, really recently started doing that. So, But it's, I think that's going to be kind of a fun project. Obviously, not every game is going to be broadcast. There, it's a 100 and I think it was like 154 games in 1955. So not every game is going to be broadcast. Um, and so what will happen is I will every once in a while, I'll televise a game. I'll let you know where we are in the season, what game we're on, what our record is before the game starts. And then every once in a while also I will put out a, um, 
I'll put out a video that, you know, just updating everyone on how the 55 Senator season is going. So that is my plan uh, as far as that goes. Um, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully I finish it. I do have a tendency not to finish baseball seasons because they are very long. But I did do that with the uh, the White Sox season that I finished last, um, what was it, last, yeah, it was pretty much the end of the summer or um, beginning of fall. Um, I had finished a White Sox season where I had taken last year's Strat set and I had made the new players that w you could have um you, you could have assumed might be playing and I put all the players that were traded and whatever and free agents who signed with different teams I moved them all around and then did a White Sox season where the White Sox actually did not make the playoffs but they did have a winning record and also it was not a 60 game season because I had to start the season as quickly as possible and so I think what I did was I played a, uh, a like a 148 game season instead of 60. But even based on a 148 game season, that White Sox team did have a winning record. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can get through a 1955 Senators season. I'm hoping I can. Really, um, that's, you know, that's the goal. Uh, and then we'll see if I end up having done better than they did or worse than they actually did. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to update you guys on the tournament that I have, the Round Robin Tournament. If you've been watching that and following that, you know that I have this uh, first round, Round Robin, where I'm taking teams in the American League and the National League and playing a best of three series in the first round. The second round will be best of five, but the first round's best of three. Um, I have completed um, eight of those, and the eight teams that have advanced are, in the American League, the 88 A's, the 2018 Astros, the 89 Royals, and the 65 Red Sox have all advanced. Of those four teams, the Red Sox are the only underdog that advanced. The other three were the uh, favorite to advance. The National League, much the same. They have their four games or four series have been completed. The advancing teams are the 61 Phillies, the 77 Dodgers, the 90 Reds, and most recently the 87 Giants who beat the 79 Braves. And again, of those four teams, it seems to be a running theme, of those four teams, the only team that was an underdog and advanced was the 61 Phillies. And they actually beat the 1979 We Are Family Pirates, which was crazy. But anyway, that's what happened. So uh, those eight teams are already in the books, and I have uh, four more series to play. Two American League, two National League. The plan right now is that I'm going to take a Yankees team versus an Orioles team. I don't know which one is going to be the good one. And again, just to remind everybody, one team is like a terrible team and the other one is a great team from the past. So it's not like you can't find bad Yankees teams. They, they did exist. I know, I know, but they did exist. So I don't know. It's probably going to be a situation where the Yankees team will be the good team, the quote unquote favorite. And the Orioles team will be the bad Orioles, will be one of the bad Orioles teams. And then we'll see if the bad Orioles team can beat a good Yankees team. And we'll see which year that is. Of course, of both of those, there are a myriad of bad Orioles seasons and there are a myriad of good Yankees seasons. The, American, the other American League series that I will do is the Indians versus the Angels. Again, I will pick a either a really good or really bad Indians team, and then we'll play it against the opposite type Angels team. Um, again, the Indians have been around a lot longer, so they have a myriad of really good teams and a myriad of really bad teams, whereas the Angels... 
Uh, I mean, they've had some good seasons, but not a lot. And then in the uh, National League, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, a Mets team versus a Cardinals team. Now, if I take a bad Mets team, I'm telling you right now, you can mark this down in your books. If I take a bad Mets team, it will not be the 62 Mets. I do have the 62 Mets, but that's too easy. That's just too easy. And everybody does that. It's a running theme. Everyone is doing the 62 Mets against somebody. So I would pick another bad Mets team if I decide to do a bad Mets team. But again, there were many really good Mets teams, and there were very many bad Mets teams. And then the Cardinals, same deal. You can find bad Cardinals teams, and you can find really good Cardinals teams. So I don't know which is going to be which. But it is going to be the Mets versus the Cardinals in some way, shape, or form. And then, finally, the Padres versus the Marlins. And there I'm a little more restricted. The Marlins only had, there was like a couple of small windows where they were good. The rest of the time they were terrible. But you could say the same thing about the Padres. So uh, we'll see how that ends up being, but it will be the Padres versus the Marlins, no doubt. And then my last reminder to everybody is that there is a PC football season going on on my channel, and that is the New Jersey Generals season. And if you've been following the season, I think we played two games and we're one and one. That's what I think. We lost to the Bills in overtime. I want to say we lost to the Bills in... No, there's three. There has been... Has there been? I think there's been three. Yeah, we. I played three games. I lost to the Bills opening week. Then I beat the 77 Steelers, which was crazy. And then we, uh, and then we just beat somebody too. I can't remember. I don't remember who we played, but we won. I'm pretty sure we won. And so we're two and one, but we're in a division, um, well, a conference, I guess, with the 1968 Chiefs, and the 68 Chiefs haven't lost yet. Um, I am going to change that uh, the ruling on how I'm going to do the playoffs for that, though. I was going to say that just the top teams in each conference go right to the Super Bowl, but I'm not going to do that. It'll be the top two teams in each conference play in a conference championship. So, uh, And then the winners of those games will go to the Super Bowl. Because it is it was a little brutal. Somebody said, somebody pointed that out to me. They said, you know, you got, I mean, because I think it was, uh, I think it's like 10 team conferences and uh, 10 teams in each conference. And it was just going to be the winner of the conference going right to the Super Bowl. So that's a little, that is a little too brutal. So I will make a, uh, I will make it the top two. Um, and then they will, because I don't think I cut that one down into divisions. I think it's just the conference. Although I can check. And maybe I'll do another update a little later on. But anyway, the generals, the point of this whole thing is that every Sunday, a generals football season game is being played. And the generals are two and one. The great running game is working so far. I mean, it just is. So, um, Man, I wish I could remember who we... Because I know we just beat somebody else. We beat the 77 Steelers, which was crazy. Um, but we just beat somebody else, and they were a good team. They had a good quarterback. I want to say maybe Carolina. Maybe it was the 2018 Carolina Panthers that we beat. I'm, I think it was. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're 2-1. and one. We beat the 18, 2018 Carolina Panthers and the 77 Steelers and lost to the 95 Buffalo Bills in overtime. And, oh, by the way, that team, the Generals' defense has been allowing an average of only 10 points per game. 
So uh, anyway, that's um, that's what I got for you. Um, remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Leave a comment below. You can talk about anything sports related, stuff you might want to see. What do you think about my 1955 Washington season that I got coming up? Probably not a lot of people very excited about that, although there might be, because I know some people, some old schoolers that are even older than I am, remember the 55 Senators. And um, so, yeah, uh, that's about all I've got. And so that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.